Um, well, I'll start at the beginning, where I start, which is at the beginning, uh, where it began. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I've been, I was uh, an artist, I've been an actor, I've been a stand-up comedian, I've been uh, an animator, and, and I was a graphic designer. And then, uh, and then I became just like an artist. And it, it took me about, it took me about two years to be able to say artist without going, I can't say that out loud. Um, but now I'm an artist and I say it with pride. And yeah, so I've, I've been doing creative, creative things and the artistic kind of panache for about 15 years. Um, the strangest thing that's inspired my work, um, I mean, it's maybe my kids, they do some pretty weird things. Um, uh, well, I was, I, was, I was born in a video shop in the 80s, man. So it's all in there. It's all in there. I, I mean, you know, it's, uh, I've seen some pretty crazy things. Back in the days when you could only rent films, you couldn't buy them. And, uh, you know, so, uh, yeah, I'd definitely say the things I saw as a child <laughs> inspired me, you know. No, um, yeah, no, but I, 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 very simply, I was designing some wallpaper for someone using lots of flowers, and I made a seahorse, and I thought, that's nice, and then I filled the seahorse image up with lots of flowers, and then I took the outline of the seahorse away and went, Oh my God, that's amazing. And then I tried to link it all together as if it was growing and it looked stunning. Um, but now I use more flowers. Um, absolutely, man. I, I, I really, uh, it's really kind of, can you say that? My artwork has inspired me to be more inspired about nature. Because flowers, I really do, I really do enjoy them. They're, they're you know, no jokes aside, they're, they're fantastic things. And they, they kind of stop you in your tracks. Mm -hmm. I like it when they make you late for stuff, you know. Yeah. Oh my God. Gotta pick the kids up. I'm just gonna stare at this flower for about 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, originally when I used to do them as a uh, as a real collage, like a 3D physical piece, mm -hmm. it used to take me weeks. Uh, but then over the years, I've been able to cut out loads and loads of pieces and store them on my computer, so I don't have to do that physical side anymore. Mm -hmm. I've already got them, and I do less. Uh, uh, actual 3D pieces now, physical 3D pieces, because um, j um, just basically due to the prints being more positive and more successful and they're easier to get out, I do do them more digitally now. But uh, yeah, originally they would take me between two or three weeks. Now I can do an original piece with about 400 individually cut out pieces. I can take dozens, I can take about four or five days Start new artwork. Um, time and time and it's loads of time because you need to sit there and just go like. Sometimes you have to look at the bit of paper and or look at the screen and then you sort of wait and wait for something to happen and then you move something and then you, you draw something. Yeah, time man. Yeah, take your time. It's, uh, yeah, because if you rushed, it's horrible. Yeah. Although I have rushed before and I've created an awesome piece of artwork. Once that happened. <laughs> one time. Yeah, one time that happened. <laughs> uh, nothing, man. Nothing. I, it's, it's great. Yeah, uh, but it, it, uh, um, it's, yeah, I think, no, actually, that's a lie. I have to chill out about acknowledging the fact that when you get to a certain volume of people liking your stuff and enjoying it, that it's inevitable that people are gonna copy your work in the same way that you nicked it from someone else. You know, and it's just inevitable. You have to sort of, that's the only thing you get a bit hot under the collar of it. You go, oh my God, that's, that's exactly like mine. And you go, yeah, but didn't you take your ideas from that? Oh yeah, <laughs> I <just> did. <laughs> yeah, that's, I have to chill out a little bit. That's a work thing, you know.
Um, and the best thing about it is just being able to be, do what you want. That's the best thing about being an artist, actually, is the fact that when I was a graphic designer, it was always the thing to go, go to stick to a star, go to stick to a star. And you go, um, I, I don't I want to do something else. I'm bored, I'm going to do that one now, I'm going to do this. No, you got to stick to a style. And now when you're an artist, you can just go, I'm going to do this. Oh, I might do something else if you want. And then no one can say anything. And uh, yeah, that, that, that's the one best thing is that you can do what you want. Um, and you know, don't have to stick to anything. Yeah, that's what I love. Um, my next big thing that I'm doing, my next step, uh, that I'm going to be taking is looking at um, sort of gov um, lottery funded um, projects where I get to sort of do larger outdoor stuff and works that can be appreciated on a larger scale, seen by more people, um, inspire people hopefully, and um, get me out of the house, god damn it, because I spend a lot of time inside a studio. Um, yeah, get out of the house and uh, actually work with real flowers and try and create my work. But that's, that'd be a nice thing to do, man.